All right, time for a hastily done video that uh, I'm posting after I'm already exhausted because for those of you who follow me on Twitter or are in my Discord server, DM for invite, um, you'll know that I, I ran 14 miles today <laughs> and I feel like I got hit by a car because um, I didn't have enough hydration on me. Like, I really should work better on that, especially as somebody who talks as much about health as I do. Here, I'll, uh, I'll prove I'm on the right track now. I swear I'm honest. Anyway, the reason I bring up the health uh, thing is because it's the subject of today's video telling you not to scapegoat Fauci. Now, let's be crystal clear here. I have a bitter, burning, redacted hatred for um, Fauci. And I'm not trying to excuse anything he's done. He lied so many times. And then he tried to justify his lies so many times. If anybody trusts a solitary word that comes out of his mouth, they have not been paying close enough attention. To put it mildly, he also <laughs> is a massive fucking establishment hack uh, and a shill for whatever happen happens to be popular at the time. Uh, let's let's flash back to the time when he said that being in close contact, that means living with um, or regularly contacting uh, a homosexual can give you AIDS, HIV. He was like, oh, we're finding out it can be transmitted by close contact, basically through the air. Like, oh no, I got too close to LGBT person. Now I'm going to get AIDS. It's what he literally said um, in a paper. And, People don't remember that. Uh, funny how the establishment media likes to talk about that guy as some sort of virtuous person now. Uh, funny how they're all talking about how, you know, uh, I forget what the thing was, but it was like, you know, they were all tr like, horns posting about him. And let's be also clear that these statements here aren't designed to... Um, be my own personal scapegoat. They're just me, you know, proving my cred for those of you who might doubt me, right? Um, because I know the message I'm saying now is going to be unpopular with some of my audience. But, like, <laughs> don't do it. Don't scapegoat Fauci. He is a malicious, evil person. Um, and, like, a, a government leech. Um, and, and I do not like... Fauci, no, nor will I ever like Fauci. There is nothing that will change my mind. Zero. Um, but just to be clear, uh, I, w I wanted to get all of that said so that you wouldn't forget uh, my position here. Because it's, it's fucking hilarious to me how many people want this to be a story about Fauci and how unpopular... My take is here, most of my tweets don't break, like, 50 likes or 10 retweets. And with somebody with as many followers as I have, and as many followers as I had before I was banned, um, like, that, that, that number is pretty small. And the reason is, I'm willing to say what needs to be said. And I'm also right. Like... 90% of the time at a very generous minimum. Um, so this is what I said the most recently. I said, reminder, that no matter how many times you call Fauci a liar, and you're right, by the way, he's one component of a fundamentally corrupt system, and scapegoating him with the whole thing is going to allow hundreds more Fauci's to crop up. Oppose all of Big Pharma, or you oppose none of it. And then I went on to say, Fauci is not worse than the World Health Organization. 
Pfizer, Moderna, J&J, BioNTech, FDA, MSM, Intellectual Property Laws, the Executive Branch, the BSL-4 Level Lab in Wuhan, social media censors, banksters, and many more people, forgetting that he's a, and I meant to say symptom, but I said system, of an evil system is a way to let evil happen. That's true. I don't actually care if somebody doesn't like it. That's true. I've seen so many people who are ignoring literally any aspect of this story except the Fauci angle. Ooh, Rand Paul uh, proved Fauci lied. Ooh, the media is all behind Fauci, and Fauci uh, is, is, is dodgy about Taiwan, and Fauci is like this and that and this and that, and yes, all of that is true. But you know what? Fauci signed some papers. Fauci said some words. Fauci did not create this virus. He may be responsible for the funding for the gain-of-function research in the lab, allegedly, just to avoid anybody claiming that I'm making a claim here. Allegedly, he could be, maybe, but uh, <laughs> let's be real clear here and say it took a lot of scientists to do that who are way above Fauci's pay grade. Fauci is a spokesperson for science. And a bad one. Because his words so often are not scientific. And because there are so many people involved in this. That if they can hang Fauci. They can quell a lot of people's concerns. They can make you happy with the fact that they got rid of Fauci. But then that's just one more person out of their way. There were people who resigned at the FDA over these uh, mandates. Great! Now the FDA is more ideologically consistent against freedom. Two thumbs up. Uh, like, that's the way it is, though. The WHO is a fundamentally corrupt organization that is a subset of of even more fundamentally corrupt people. Pfizer took the biggest L in pharmaceutical history. Moderna, they've been banned in certain countries. Johnson & Johnson, fucking asbestos baby powder. The FDA is largely connected to the same people it's supposed to regulate, how is that not illegal because the system doesn't care about ethics? Intellectual property laws. Those prevent anyone from making a competitive vaccine to the vaccine du jour. So people get to claim that this isn't about profit but there are mega corporations squeezing as much money out of this as fucking possible and not allowing people to compete by the use of the boot of the state. Yet more money going to the elites because they won't let us do shit with their toys. That's what intellectual property laws are. You can claim they're supposed to be like, oh, p p protecting artists. Protecting inventors and innovation. Because <laughs> you've been mentally bought. But ultimately, all they do is serve to protect the financial, entertainment, industrial elites and keep their power isolated. It's a form of regulatory capture disguised as property rights. 
And that's why so many people have been defrauded out of their ideas because people got to it first after taking them. And unlike if there were no intellectual property laws where that person could prove it was theirs and everything could shuttle over to their, uh, to, to their camp, or they could make a cheaper product because generally people who IP hawk are doing it so that they can charge insane amounts of money. Fucking Shkreli. Um, you know, unlike that happening where they can just shuttle over to the rightful person who actually came up with it, this lets the people who IP hawked stay that way until massive lawsuits hit. Until massive lawsuits that most poor people, small people, independent innovators can't fucking afford, much less this sort of pharmaceutical nonsense. So, intellectual property laws are preventing you from getting cheap insulin. They're preventing you from getting cheap medicine in general and cheaper medicine in, like, independent smaller hospitals that might have like more leeway and lenience with your particular religious beliefs ideologies in general because the more isolated it is to the bigger hospitals with the bigger hmos and insurance providers the more they can fuck you the executive branch got to steal a ton of money and give it to the pentagon For COVID. <laughs> they gave it to the Pentagon. And people forget about that. The BSL-4 level lab in Wuhan was fucking funded by the state. Whether or not that was the source, it was funded by the state, which means it was funded by theft. And the enslavement of future generations through the debt plantations that they've built. Social media censors keeping everything nice and tightly under wrapped in the name of preventing misinformation. <laughs> That's what we're dealing with. We're dealing with liars. The Atlantic Council controls a significant share of information. Because they are on the group of people fact-checking Facebook posts. If I recall correctly, it's called Pointer or something like that. And Facebook is controlled by the state by a long series of ex-government employees. And it was literally venture capital funded by multiple people linked to or directly from the state. And that's like... The biggest, right? And then you get to Twitter, who's like, copying them. And that's why you get to have people unpersoned from social media. That's why you've got fucking Jen Psaki in there and fucking saying, Oh, we should have un unanimity. Everybody, everybody should do the same fucking shit. No matter how much it fucks over the small person. Because that's what we want. The banksters, who are totally okay with all of this, because guess what? They get their contact-free payment systems. They get their privacy-free digital dollars. Fauci controls none of those people! But people get to call me insane, which, yeah, may be. People get to call me insane because I'm saying diversify your hatred portfolio here a bit. And that's exactly what you should do. Because these people are a big fucking club and you ain't in it. So when I see people fucking bloviate about Fauci... It's done. It's tired. We've already proven it. If they were going to do anything to him, if they were going to apply any significant consequences to his medical malfeasance that allegedly was responsible for a significant amount of deaths, if they were going to do that, they already fucking would have. So maybe we should stop 
hacking the branches and start hacking the root, which is the state. The fascist state, where the market has to serve the state and the culture is rigged by the fucking police, the military, the intelligence agencies, all of these people, all these fucking Nazi wannabes, they're the state, the fascist state that gets to isolate opinion, that gets to isolate money, that gets to isolate control. That's who we're dealing with, not just Fauci. Fauci is a blip in a fucking huge field of shit. And I'm tired of it because it's not helping and we could take the whole thing down if we realized what the real problems were. Anyway, I'm exhausted. I'm going to go talk with some friends for a bit. That's my rant for today. Enjoy that if you want. Spread it around if you want. Be a super spreader of this video if you want. If it tickles your fancy to tell the truth to people who would rather pinpoint somebody so that they can take them down and feel good about it rather than actually solving the problem so that this do doesn't happen again. So that we can break our chains and be freer, you know? I kind of want a little freedom, you know? Wouldn't that be nice? No? All right. Anyway, smash the fucking state.